let's look at the data type struct so here is the syntax for that write the select statement and then we specify the word struct and within then in open close parenthesis we could specify one and specify a semicolon after that and click run and this will create a output as you can see below which is similar to a dictionary if you are if you have used python or any other language so we have these curly braces and within the curly brace we have this first key pair which is field one and then we have the value with it which is one now the uh, way in which we can describe this is we can also specify the type of uh, type of like the um, type of value that is one so this is the integer so we can specify this within angled brackets right here we can say int 64 and so now we are explicitly telling that the the one is of type in 64 and when we run this we get the we should get the same output as we had earlier and we can now specify a, a column name and the column name is not part of this struct as you can see it's outside of it so when we run this what happens is the column name is assigned to the column as we would expect and this is still automatically generated key name field one or the value of one we can specify a key name there by spec uh, specifying it right before where we declare what type of this uh, value is if we specify x then what we are saying is that store the value of one in the as with a key of x in the structure so here when we run this we would now see that we have the same dictionary type object and we have the key value key value pair where key is x and value is one similar to this we can specify other types as well so we could say this is a string and then pass in another value there let's call it abc and uh, this is let's call this word with now what we have is we have this structure that has a string in it and so we have the column word with a key w and uh, the value abc as the uh, object in the first record that we see additionally we can also specify date objects so for that let's say we give it a key name of dt and call this date and here we can specify the date say 2022-09-06 now if we run this we would get a similar uh, object which is like a dictionary with dt as the key name and the date as its value now let's look at a nested structure uh, we can type select and then struct and within angle brackets then we need to specify let's say we specify an integer so i int 64 and then the next item is let's say s and this one is a structure and within this structure or within this nested dictionary we can say we have another object we have another key value pair which is w that is a string so out here we can specify the values the so values the first value is say one because it's an integer and for the second one the value is going to be a string value so let's specify the value as a b c and this then we can specify this as a column so nested struct so that's the column name we assign now when we run this we should see a nested dictionary in the output so we have i key value pair of i one and then we have a second key value pair where we have s as the key and another dictionary it just has one value of one so that's how these work there's also 
a way in which you can specify without the need to specify these angle brackets. So the SQL will automatically try to uh, decipher what the data type should be and it will assign it. One, but ideally you would want to specify the type. So let's say if we have one, two, and three, we, if we run this, we would get output with a dictionary where field one, field two, field three are the automatically created key values, key values that are assigned to these uh, numeric values one, two, and three. 